art was special to me, I mean, probably the day that I was born. Uh, my earliest memories are one of my mom carving sort of uh, just like wooden plaques. But yeah, earliest memories are of being an artist. I've always wanted to be an artist. I started working most recently in wood sculpture about six years ago. So after I finished graduate school, moved back to Colorado, I'm a resident artist at Redline Contemporary Art Center here in Denver, and I will be here for the next two years, so through 2024. So the continuous string that runs throughout my work is sort of making the impossible. First thing is emotion. The second thing is usually there's a shape that has stood out to me, and it's it could be out in the world. Uh, it could be any random shape that sort of fits the emotion that I'm already carrying around with me. And so when I come to the studio, I've got a long piece of stock wood. I will cut it down, usually um, we saw it to about two inches wide. And then I will take it to the table saw and spend about an hour putting curves into this long piece of wood that will then become flexible. And so during that time, I'm very sort of rigid and uh, my attention is pretty acute. And so I'm really like building a relationship with the wood as I'm cutting it. And the idea is to take that sort of structure from wood and apply it to people, and apply it to life, right? And, and sort of expect more from people the way that you're, you're receiving more from the art. I think especially as a black person, I, I try to be connected to my roots, but I'm not physically connected to my roots, right? And so I do everything that I can to sort of harness my ancestors and the spirits of my ancestors. There's a certain like drum beat that goes with a lot of uh, African music, right? And so if you think about the consistency of a drum beat, that is just like con it's constant. Um, you can follow it with a metronome. So that take that beat and put it into my work, right? When I started to think about this CBC award, what I really wanted to consider was the range of awards that were being offered for one. So. What came to me, one, was like a seed, right? And seeds usually grow into something, you know, whether it's a leaf, a flower, a plant. And then obviously, like, I think of my name, and I always have leaves in the back of my mind because my name is Autumn. So the words will all be uh, different shapes of leaves, and they'll be varying depending on which award goes to which recipient. So the, the shape of the leaf will actually be different colors of wood that I've sort of laminated, created with my personal technique of sculpture making. The best thing about being able to do what I do is knowing that I'm living in my purpose. And it took me a long time to come to that realization, fought for it, and there's, there's no greater feeling than that. And then the, the second best thing is that I get to do it every day. And like I said, I'm supported in that, and that's like, there's no better feeling.